In this first part of the demo, we'll be taking a look at the design process for a multi-story building using Edificious. Let's start off from the software's main workspace area. Here we can do all of our BIM modeling using specific parametric BIM objects. Each object has its own dataset of BIM-related information together with geometry info, materials, and other important design-oriented settings such as layers, classifications, and IEFFCE definitions. Edificious provides various tools that help the user to build up the architectural BIM model. In fact, there are a number of auto-detect tools that help speed up object generation directly from a CAD drawing. But we can also rely on other more intelligent ones, such as the 2D and 3D magnetic grids. Here we have defined a 2D magnetic grid with an appropriate grid spacing. Then we'll place it into position at a certain reference point. We'll now choose a specific wall type with a specified thickness and a predefined material layer composition. Then we can use the snap nodes present on the magnetic grid to set the wall into position. Or, we can insert all walls over the entire grid by selecting it with the magic wand tool. As you can see, the initial grid has now become something completely different. You can imagine how many operations would have been necessary with the CAD software to create a corridor in this area. At least four or even more different operations. Edificious provides a much easier workflow that simplifies modeling and drastically increases our productivity. As easily as we have inserted new objects, you can see that we can also delete and move others defining this first floor plan. A very straight, forward modeling process. For example, we can quickly have a look at how our walls are composed checking the different material layers and also adjust the thickness of the walls. So, we can check out the model and make revisions at any time without losing track of the design concept and object settings. In this case, we can change certain wall material layers. As you may have noticed the transformation from a simple two-dimensional drawing to a more complex three-dimensional model is practically immediate. That's basically because we are already working in 3D when we model a wall. In fact, we can graphically define the width and length of the wall, but we also have a predefined height too. Let's now add some extra details to the model. For example, an opening in this wall. For this dedicated object, the opening we simply position it and adapt the size graphically on screen. You can obviously type in the relevant manufacturer measurements for extra precision. We can use this opening as defined as a reference and use it somewhere else too. Let's consider this an initial prototyping phase where I can already set the openings with a wooden frame and casing on both sides. Continuing with our modeling, let's go ahead and insert something else. For example, some other parametric objects. A door for example. Like other parametric objects, the door object also has its own BIM-related dataset and information and can even be selected from the online library of objects. Here we can choose the preferred model, classic, modern, with glass panes sliding, and so on. Then, to insert it, we can decide the position, the opening direction, its size, and whether we want to see it as opened or closed. Let's go ahead with our design and focus on some more interesting aspects from the design point of view. The staircase, for example. This kind of object can create a few important design and modeling issues. But let's see how simple it is to deal with it in Edificious. A staircase is modeled by connecting up the individual elements in a dedicated staircase editor. Let's take a closer look. We'll select the object from the Architectural Objects menu and set it into position. 
As you can see in the Stairs Editor's Objects menu, we have a selection of typical staircase elements, such as ramps and landings, useful for different kinds of modeling needs. Of course, we can put each object into edit mode to modify the geometry according to our needs. But what I would like to point out is that in the 3D view, as you can see, while I add the staircase elements, they automatically adapt their geometry to the upper and lower levels without wasting any time. The software recognizes the distance between each level so that when we finally insert the last part of the ramp, it automatically adapts the riser dimension. Therefore, the entire staircase development across the connecting levels. The editor also provides different structural types and material combinations according to design requirements. Once we have the staircase correctly defined and in place, we can then continue the other important components such as the railing. This can be inserted using another specific parametric object and is inserted in 3D directly on the staircase model. It takes advantage of its snap nodes for extra precision. In comparison with old CAD software, this would have taken an hour or maybe more to correctly model, with all of its details and different model views. As you can see, here in Edificious, it has taken us less than two minutes. As I was saying, you can edit any part of the staircase to achieve whatever geometry we prefer. Let's move it here to show you how to modify any part of the staircase in detail. For example, if I need to modify this landing, or maybe enlarge the ramp and change the shape, or convert this step into a curved step, you can do so using these simple but very effective and flexible tools. You are completely free to customize each part of the stairs object according to your needs. Let's see some other objects and how they work within Edificious. Moving on to inserting our windows. Again, another parametric object, just like the doors. You can select it from the library, but here's the interesting part that we didn't see previously when dealing with our windows. Both of these objects can also be built up from scratch in an editor allowing you to design your own door or window type. It goes without even saying that the software comes with a huge, continuously evolving online library with new objects and materials added every day. However, if you can't find what you're looking for, you can model the object yourself and then use it in your project. Or even load an external 3D model in one of the many 3D model file formats that we support, and even share your creations online with the Edificious community of users. So, let's assume that we have completed our basic floor plan model. Now we want to proceed in developing our project across multiple floor levels. How many? Two, three, four, maybe 50, no problem. As you can see, all the elevation related information is here and based on the levels management settings. All I need to do is insert a few parameters, confirm, and instantaneously see how the basic floor plan is automatically copied to all the other levels. In just one click, we generated a multi story building. At this stage, we can now continue the modeling process by editing the single objects present across each level. Here we'll completely remove this corner of the building. Therefore, we'll just select and delete any part of the building. Here on the last floor, we'll delete a piece of the roof and create a terrace. For our windows, we can acquire them from one side and place them on the other. Have a look here for example. I take this window and move it here. And these other two positions too. Let's imagine that instead of three, we had 30 windows. There's no need to set them manually at the correct height. 
We'll simply choose an alignment axis and get them all aligned at the right height with a simple click. This is the kind of productivity that the software allows us to achieve. The door here, for example, was originally set as a glass door leading into a room. We'll now change it by copying the door properties from this entrance door and apply them here. What about materials? We can apply materials to our model in an instant. Choose and apply them directly to the various surfaces. You can see that just a moment before applying the material, I know exactly where I am inserting it. Only when I'm sure of what the effect will be, I'll click to apply it. Let's move on and see another important object. The roof. This is often a rather complex part of a building and can get quite hard to model when we have converging slabs at different angles. Look how easy it is for edificious. We can start off by simply tracing this polyline as a roof perimeter. When we confirm, another editor is launched within which we can model the roof slabs manually. Or even let the software create an optimized solution for us. Just set a roof slope value here. The roof generator will automatically compose the roof complex matching up and connecting the different slabs. But this is just a proposed solution. I can still easily add other elements or modify others because we are still in modeling mode. This means I can delete this element here and edit the shape of the others. In just a few clicks, I have remodeled the roof. But look at this wall below. It has readapted itself to the new condition automatically. Let's go back to the first design solution and delete these roof pitches. The wall has adapted back to the previous shape and we now want to transform these walls into parapets for the terrace. Let's see what else we can do. Suppose we have inserted all our parametric objects and as you can see, we have reached a considerable level of detail in our project. But we are still in the position to modify whatever we feel necessary, adding objects and editing others. But this goes even further. Have a look at what we are doing here. I can select a part of the building and use it as a reference for integration with SketchUp or even Blender to add external 3D model assets directly to the building. I'll quickly model a few new elements such as this shelter. We'll make a hole in it and add this text on the wall. Even if you need to add specific architectural components, you can load them into SketchUp or Blender and then integrate them back into our edificious project. Let's now move on to preparing our working drawings. These are also long and tedious tasks that may take hours, especially when you need to update drawings or parts of them. With a click, I already have the floor plan. The software automatically generates this detailed floor plan view, but also enables further graphical features to customize styles and appearances. Among various predefined styles, I can use this black and white look, or an extremely minimal, or very detailed styles, or even build up and compose my own custom style too. What about dimensions? We all know how important they are in our working drawings. Just a click and they are applied throughout the entire room. And we know how long it takes to correctly measure everything up for all of our drawings. With a simple click, we can apply all dimensions and wherever we need them. Of course, I can still continue to add more information to the floor plan with other 2D graphical objects, tags, labels or other illustrations such as the drawing scale reference. The material layer composition for this wall. Or view the summary box with all the material layer compositions used in my project. All the tools for finishing off and completing these automated floor plans are at your fingertips. 
They also include an illustration effects that can be activated and modified according to our needs. Different color effects, combined with shadows, line thicknesses, and fill patterns. It's up to me to choose how to represent my final drawings and layouts. The same applies to our cross sections and elevation views. We simply determine where we want to generate the view by inserting a section line. The view is generated automatically and added to the relating subnode under the Drawing Models section. Again, we can select our preferred visualization style with various effects regarding shadows, vegetation details, and so on. But that's not all. No one wants to worry about the final drawings. It takes too much time to prepare every single drawing and then realize that you have to update them with the latest changes. With this new workflow, you can make your changes directly from the drawing model by putting it into edit mode, even a few minutes before printing. With Edificious, with edit mode enabled, I can make the changes. Let's say the window size needs to change. We can make that change. And notice how all the drawings that show that window are cross updated instantly. Even the 3D model is updated. And this applies even if we need to make major changes throughout the design and validation process. You will surely agree that producing easy to read construction documents and illustrations is fundamental to fill in the communication gap. That's why even cutaway views are also provided among the various edificious model representations. Just a few settings and you can dynamically cut through the building in an interesting 3D perspective view in which you can decide to apply a cutting plane across an entire level or choose to cut everything except the furniture. I choose the style and the software responds straight away. Communication also means generating photorealistic images with high resolution and super fast renders. A kind of creative output that I can share through social media, with collaborators, with my client, and whoever is involved in the project in some way. Now look at this vertical cross section. I can see all the rooms at their use types furniture arrangements, etc. And finish off with a precise shadows analysis. If we need to access the most advanced BIM collaboration methodologies, we can export the project as an IEFFCE file and store it in our cloud-based CDE platform, a BIM platform.